Hi, this is Jeff Lovett, and it's time for your weekly dose of marketing advice. Last week was a little different. I gave you a quick tour of our new video studio and showed you how we saved a lot of money by repurposing this uh, wood for the back wall from old pallets. And we built some of our own lights, which saved us about $500. The reason I'm leading with that little statement about saving money is because today we're going to start tackling some of your toughest marketing problems. A couple of weeks ago, I sent everyone a quick one question survey that I created using SurveyMonkey, which is another free service that I found online. And here's the question that I asked everyone. What is the biggest problem with, your, with marketing your business? The two top answers, actually these two answers were tied for first place, were not enough money, and not enough time. So today, let's just tackle that first problem. We'll save the others for later videos. Not enough money. I have heard this for years and I can truly sympathize with my clients in this situation. I'm a small business owner too and I know how money can get very scarce when you're trying to pay your employees, your utilities, your insurance costs. But on the other hand, you can't ignore marketing and advertising your business if you really wanna stay in business. Just consider this, according to a study by Forbes magazine, 80% of new businesses fail in the first 18 months. And the number one reason that new businesses fail is because they're not in touch with their customers. In other words, they stock their shelves, put an open sign on the door, hope that people come in. If you don't make an effort to have a dialogue with your customers, and that's what great marketing really is, a two-way conversation, then you will either A, go out of business, or B, always be on the edge of going out of business. So what do you do when you just don't have enough money for marketing or advertising? Well, first I would suggest that you take a day to sit down with your accountant. Or if you don't have an accountant, just to get together all your income, all of your expense statements, your bills, your receipts, and look at exactly what you're spending. What can you do without? And if you truly think that you have no money for marketing or advertising, you're going to have to come up with some stuff that you just can do without because not actively marketing to your customers is absolutely not an option if you want to stay in business. And let me throw in my own personal experiences in here. For, forget those hot shots at Forbes. I've been in advertising and marketing for more than 30 years now, and I can tell you from my own observations, those businesses who opened up and they never advertised, the ones who would always say to me, oh, people love me, I don't need to advertise my business, they'll just come in no matter what. Well, those people either called me in a few months and I could hear the desperation in their voices as they begged me to help them find a way to find new customers or they simply stuck their stuff in a refusal to do any advertising and they closed their doors. I have watched this happen literally hundreds of times and it always goes the same way. New business opens, new business doesn't advertise, new business closes their doors in just a few months. In my 30 years in this business, I have never seen an exception to this rule. In fact, I can often tell you within just a few months if a business is gonna make it or not, just by the way they communicate with their customers. If they retreat inside the walls of their store and just wait for people to show up, that's the very first sign there will soon be another empty building in town to fill. So my first response to people who say they just don't have any money for marketing is you have to seriously look at what you can do without. You need to get rid of the fancy new car that your business is leasing for you. Stop using your business to pay the cell phone bills for your extended family, all your cousins. Those are unnecessary luxuries. You have to operate as lean as you possibly can and free up money for marketing your business, especially when you're a new business. I don't want to beat a dead horse here, but I want to stress that marketing your business is not a luxury. It is just as important as paying the utility bill or your insurance. Now, another thing that I would uh, say to people who answer this survey with, they have no money, is to look for things that you can do that are free. And there are plenty of ways to have conversations with your customers that don't cost you anything. I had a whole series of videos recently on guerrilla marketing about things you can do that are both creative and free. There's also plenty of free tools out there like MailChimp. That's the email marketing program that I use to create and send these emails every week. And this program you're watching right now, it's free. Facebook, Twitter, they're free. Hootsuite, they have a version of that to schedule your social media posts that's free as well. The program that I used a couple of weeks ago to survey my customers, SurveyMonkey, there's a free version of that too. And in fact, most of the companies out there that create online marketing tools have a free version for small businesses. And, and most of the time, the free version is just fine. 
Now, I'm sorry if today's video sounds a little harsh, but I want you to not make the mistake that I've seen repeated literally hundreds and hundreds of times throughout my career, and that's thinking that you can make a go of it without doing any marketing or advertising. Listen, I don't care how great of a product you sell or how cool your store is decorated, you will not be successful. You will not be successful or reach your full potential without marketing. Even if you don't have money for marketing, you've got to take advantage of some free marketing ideas that we've talked about on my video blog or, or use some of the free tools that you'll find on the internet. I want you to be here in five years, so don't let a lack of money paralyze you into doing nothing. So before I go, I want to remind you that I am here to help you. In fact, I love being able to try to help you with your hardest marketing or business problems that I am adding a button to all of my future posts that simply says, ask me a question. If you have a question, send it to me. If I don't know the answer, I promise you that I will find someone who does. And you know what? Adding this button didn't cost me anything. Neither did making this video or putting together this email. Every single tool that I used for this presentation was free. So see, it can be done. Don't cross your fingers and hope that customers show up. You need to start marketing your business to potential buyers and you need to start right now. Hey, thanks for watching. Now get out of here and go make some money and I will see you next week. Thank mm -hmm. you.